Despite revolving around the misadventures of the titular family, it wasn't long into The Simpsons' run that the series became just as much about the town in which the show was set and the various secondary characters within it as it was about the struggles of The Simpsons. As a result, numerous secondary characters have come and gone over the run of the series, some more memorable and likable than others. One thing that they all have in common is they are all relatively one-dimensional, with distinct appearances, along with one or two character-defining traits. Pick up your freaking ears, because I'm only going to be saying this once. And, once a secondary character's look and personality is established, they rarely deviate from their initial attributes. Certainly, there has been a number of occasions when a character's appearance has changed dramatically, whether intentional or not. Wayland Smith as Jr. was originally African American when he first appeared on screen in the episode Homer's Odyssey. However, since then, he's been Caucasian for the rest of the series. Also, Judge Roy Snyder kept going from having brown skin to yellow before he was permanently made African American. However, of all the secondary characters in The Simpsons, no one has changed more than boxer Dredderick Tatum. The character was, and still is, heavily modeled on real-life fighter Mike Tyson, complete with Tyson's intimidating physique, his love of exotic animals, and his distinct lisp. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Watch me beat Peter McNeil. While Tatum's personality has remained relatively consistent throughout the series, as he mirrors Tyson, his appearance has changed dramatically since his arrival in The Simpsons universe. Of course, the obvious ostensible reason for this is that the show just wanted to make Tatum look more like Tyson than the original design did. However, during The Simpsons' golden era, the show was notorious for their subtle though often biting satire, which often took the form of obscure jokes that went over most people's head. So, with this in mind, it does raise the question of whether Tatum's redesign was part of a clever, long-winded in-joke amongst the staff. Because, of all the characters in this show, Tatum is perhaps the only character for who an ever-changing appearance makes sense, given that he's a boxer and has inevitably taken blows to the head, altering his appearance. Sorry, I used to box, you know, my brain's... Oh, that's awful, and look at your little ears! Yeah, it is extensive cauliflowering. But was this long-running, slow-burning joke intentional, or just accidentally brilliant? What's going on? Seriously, what what's transpiring? Tatum first appeared in the 13th episode of the second season, Homer vs. Lisa and the Eighth Commandment, which first aired in February 1991. In the episode, Homer gets a legal cable and plans a party to watch one of Tatum's fights, the bout to knock the other guy out, which Tatum ultimately wins, making him world champion. In Tatum's first incarnation, although it's obvious that he's a parody of Tyson, with his backstory and lisp, he didn't really look that much like the real-life boxer. Tatum made three more appearances in this form, in the episode's Flaming Moe's, the 10th episode of the third season, which first aired in November 1991, a streetcar named Marge, the second episode of the fourth season, which first aired in October 1992, and Lisa's first word, the 10th episode of the fourth season, which first aired in December 1992. The American Dredderick Tatum does a triumphant turkey trot over the supine sweep. With these brief appearances, it was established that Tatum grew up in Springfield, though he had no fond memories of the town. That town is a dump. If you ever see me back there, you know I really f***ed up bad. Additionally, it's also established that he spent time in prison for aggravated assault and manslaughter, an allusion to Tyson's real-life crimes. After his appearance in Lisa's first word, Tatum then disappeared from the Simpsons universe for a number of years, before re-emerging in the third episode of the eighth season, The Homer They Fall, complete with a distinctly different appearance, when he takes on Homer in the ring. The Homer They Fall first aired in November 1996. In the episode, Homer realizes that he has a strange medical condition that renders him unable to be knocked out. Hey, something's wrong with this guy! He's not falling down! After discovering this, Mo sees an opportunity and convinces Homer to take up a career as a boxer, with Mo serving as his manager, as Mo himself was a former fighter and understands the business. Given that Homer's opponents are untrained hobos, Moe's strategy is for Homer to simply take the punches, letting his opponent exhaust themselves before pushing them over for an easy win. Homer's success attracts the attention of Lucius Sweet, Moe's former boxing manager and Tatum's current representative, an obvious parody of Tyson's real-life manager, Don King. The piece of shit Don King, who's a wretched, just a wretched, slimy, reptilian motherfucker. Sweet tells Moe that Tatum needs a comeback fight and that Homer would be the perfect opponent because Sweet wanted the match to last at least three rounds, a reference to the fact that many of Tyson's real-life fights would be hyped for weeks only for the match to last a matter of just seconds. Tyson with a left hook right up the down goes again. 
Mo knows that Tatum is far too strong and fit for Homer to tire out, but he nevertheless agrees to the matchup. Predictably, Tatum's first punch is delivered with such force that it leaves Homer dazed. Just when Tatum is poised to deliver a blow that could potentially kill Homer, Mo swoops in using a power motor to airlift Homer out of the ring. The only thing that matters to me is you're safe. No! Despite the fact that Tatum starred in a number of episodes before, this is arguably his most character-defining appearance, as it established his new look, which, as of July 2022, is still canon. Additionally, this was the first time that the character had had extensive screen time since his very first appearance, which was used to underscore his connection with his real-life counterpart. The episode was written by Jonathan Collier, who'd previously written two of the greatest episodes of The Simpsons, the seventh episode of the sixth season, Bart's Girlfriend, when Bart falls for Reverend Lovejoy's daughter, and Raging Abe Simpson and his grumbling grandson in The Curse of the Flying Hellfish, the 22nd episode of the seventh season, when Grandpa Simpson recounts his experience during World War II. The Homer They Fall was directed by Mark Kirtland. He'd previously helmed the classic episodes Lisa's Rival, the third episode of the sixth season when Lisa is threatened by a new classmate, and the first episode of the fourth season, Camp Krusty, in which the Simpsons kids overtake Krusty's holiday camp. In Homer They Fall, Tatum's seasons-long absence from the Simpsons universe is explained away with the revelation that he's been in prison, serving time for pushing his mother down the stairs. If I could turn back the clock on my mother's stair pushing, I would certainly reconsider it. However, there's no explanation for a sudden dramatic change in appearance, even though they had the perfect opportunity to do so. Surprisingly, despite Tyson's obvious phenomenal strength and his well-documented temper, he has stated that his fellow prisoners didn't fear him like the boxing world did, and that at least one person in prison actively antagonized him, specifically looking for a fight. Of course, had the show explained Tatum's altered appearance as a result of a prison fight, it would have detracted from one of the best jokes in the episode. Hey guys, come on, shut up! Sorry, champ. Ultimately, much like when the Simpsons predict the future, Tatum's appearance, although perfect for an amazing long-running joke, is probably just a complete accident. Presumably, despite the fact that Homer They Fall was the second time Kirkland had worked with the character Tatum, having directed the earlier episode Lisa's first word, he most likely made the creative decision to alter Tatum's appearance to make him look more like Tyson, as it was the first episode that featured the character at length, whose backstory and circumstances were heavily influenced by Tyson's real life, more so than ever before, as, at the time, Tyson had recently been released from prison and his management had actively sought out comeback fights against human punching bags for easy victories. Show him, kid. Assuming that the evolution of Tatum's appearance is actually a long-running joke, in reference to the extreme hazards of his chosen career of boxing, we've had a glimpse of what the punchline of the joke will be, though this insight wasn't in the Simpsons universe. Rather, it took place in the Simpsons' rival series, Family Guy. Like the Simpsons, numerous secondary characters have come and gone throughout the run of Family Guy. Typically, these characters are one-note jokes. Patty Tanager, the caddy manager. Yeah, it rhymes. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? One such character is Floyd Weatherton, a horribly disfigured former professional boxer who's known to make long-winded, nonsensical statements. You have to be yourself, or at least within the confines. He first appeared in the fifth episode of the ninth season, Baby You Knock Me Out, which first aired in November 2010. In the episode, Lois becomes a boxer and Weatherton serves as a commentator for one of her matches. The character is quickly established as a one-note joke, but it's a joke that was strong enough to justify multiple callbacks. Gesundheit. The character is speculated to be based on real-life boxer Floyd Mayweather, given the similarities in their names and Weatherton's affluence, in addition to his eccentricities. However, the character could just as easily be based on Tyson, and, maybe, at some point in the future, Weatherton and Tatum may also share some strikingly similar physical characteristics. You know, I really f***ed up bad. We'll be checking in with you throughout the night, Floyd, and happy 23rd birthday! You're welcome. If Tatum's changing appearance is indeed an intentional long-running joke, the idea is legitimately brilliant and reminiscent of The Simpsons' distinct golden era style of humor, complete with the show's lighthearted social commentary about the dangers of boxing that arguably outweigh the financial payoffs of the profession. Realistically, though, Tatum's change in appearance was most likely just a creative choice that everyone, from the show's staff to longtime fans, just went with. Still, it's at least fun to think that it's all part of an elaborate, long-winded joke that is yet to reach its obvious conclusion, because all the necessary pieces are there to make the joke land. Tatum is the only character whose appearance has changed dramatically over the course of the series, to the point that he's unrecognizable from his original incarnation, something that was intentional and not simply a mistake during the animation process. 
Additionally, he's the only character whose appearance can be explained away with a simple yet highly plausible explanation. Tatum is reeling from the champ's exquisite haymaker! Given that it wouldn't be the first time they've made this very joke about the life-altering consequences of boxing. They called me Kid Gorgeous. Later on, it was Kid Presentable. Then Kid Gruesome. And finally, Kid Mo. Seriously, what, what's transpiring?